I was wondering if you'd like to see exactly what I've got in my blue folder here containing all the love letters of my great great grandparents. Um, the bulk of what we've got here is the correspondence in 1882 between Jane Warburton, my great great grandmother, and Fred Shepherd, my great great grandfather. Um, but we've also got a little bit from before then. And we've got some bits and pieces after then. So I'm trying to piece together their story about how they met. Um, and uh, he was living in Darnall. She was living in the Cross Keys in Handsworth in Sheffield, where her father ran the pub. And they met in Bowden House, Did's Wood, on the 1st of August in 1878. We know this because Fred has kept a diary for two years, although this one starts at... Um, the 1st of January 1879, it retrospectively goes back to the day they met and he's recorded it. Um, this is just an exercise book. Um, he wasn't particularly well off. Um, and it, it's amazing to have this because it actually gives the start of the story, which is lovely. Um, and then, uh, at the moment, I am up to 1881. This is a letter from Janie where she's just poured her heart out to Fred about her sister, older sister Emma, who's drinking. Um, and they're trying to get her married off to a Mr Walker. Um, Emma's been married previously and it would appear to have been a very unhappy marriage. And um, to the point where she's resorted to, to drink and, and looks to have quite a problem. I don't know if you can see the words here. Mother is frightened of her. She has pampered her until quite the master. Um, and there's a bit further down here. Mother has no idea what she is robbing her of. The glasses she takes are never under a shilling. And when she comes to have half a dozen a day, it soon mounts up. Father says he is nearly ruined this year. He has barely sufficient to carry the malt business on. Who but her is doing it? And so to think what she has done, think what he has done for her, and still she keeps going on in this way. She has not a particle of shame in her. So... Jane is very distressed by the whole thing and, and, and I should imagine it's quite difficult living in that situation. Um, some of Fred's letters here. He um, writes on work-headed paper. This letter is from Brown Bailey and Dixon Limited and there's an in-liquidation stamp and that's in July 6th, 1881, which has prompted... Whatever trouble is going on there at the moment, yeah, literally trouble at Mill, um, has prompted him to move to Middlesbrough to get a better job, which he's done at the North Eastern Steel Company and has used the paper there to continue to write to Janie. So the story, they write to each other in really loving terms and uh, it's lovely hearing about all the gossip they get up to. Um, and uh, so... I'm really looking forward to getting really into all this back and forth correspondence for 1882. We've also got a lot of um, Janie's paperwork from the two years after, 20 years after that. And um, this is Fred's will, some memoriam cards, um, just general paperwork. And over here, birthday cards. And in memoriam cards, banquet cards. So I'm wondering what they, they managed to rise up in the world at some point to go to a banquet. And there's even a little dance card. If I open this up, you can see where some of the dancers have been written in. So I need to curate all this properly and store it properly, as well as find out what the story is. <laughs>